Move! Now! Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken no more. No more! Why are you doing this? What purpose could this serve? Because you are my enemy. Because you stand in the way of destined power. Because I can. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. You will kneel. If you've answers, give them. Make me understand. Your understanding is not required. If you gain it, consider yourself blessed. I am here for the anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Geralt. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived. But what marks you as touched, what you flail at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The gore. Divine die for this chaos. The chaos will empower me and ensure we no longer beg at the feet of the invisible. I once breached the fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion Wither to Vinter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. Your arrogance blinds you. Good to know. If I'm dying, it's not today!
Thank the Maker! What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. 
Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need to rest. Well, they've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow, and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are, which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature, only his effect on us. They're arguing about what we do next. I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps. But I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Perhaps I was meant for this, but that didn't help at Haven. I want to believe Andraste is with me, but doubt is everywhere. Keep to the stars. 